Namaste my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Alex and on this channel I share insight, tools and experiences to help you in your awakening and life journey. In this video I will talk about and share with you why working hard can really destroy your life and what you can do about it and how you can work anyways and achieve a lot of things if you want that uh, without working hard. Now that might sound to you very paradoxical and perhaps impossible. I know it did for me for a very long time and to some degree it still does. Um, but for the last few weeks I've been really going deep into this belief that I had ingrained so hard into my system uh, that I really have to work so hard and really push myself to be able to create what I want and to be able to do what I want in life. See, there is a ongoing ongoing spread of this this uh, this idea that you had to really push yourself and you have to you know get nitty and gritty and hustle and all of that stuff and all of the you know the big famous um, um, motivational speakers a lot of successful people talk about that that they were struggling so hard for such a long time before they had their big breakthrough and so what happens is that many people they before they even begin they have this they create this idea for themselves they adopt this idea from these people and they think that everything has to be so freaking tough all the time. You know, in life, there are times that are really tough. But if we're talking about creating something for yourself, if you have a vision that you want to create a business in your life, you want more freedom, um, you have a specific vision for your life, then that doesn't mean that you have to feel bad for every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year for a big part of your life until that one day where everything shifts and you have this successful life. It does not have to be that way. Now, this idea, especially today, I've, I've had a really tough time with really letting go of this, this deeply ingrained belief that you have to work hard. But what I see is that underneath this, underneath this very cold, cold and hard, um, effortful and strained belief of pushing yourself, pushing through with will force, pushing through all the, you know, the challenges. Underneath that, there is a natural wanting for life to bloom, wanting to express, wanting to flow out, to create, and it comes from the heart. The other one is coming from the lower chakra, the, the Manipura chakra, the, the uh, solar plexus chakra, which is, which is a lot about willpower and just pushing through. What happens is that when we have this belief that we have to push through everything, we have to work really, really hard, we're coming from a lower level, lower vibration, and this natural, natural ability to express ourselves, the natural ability to create from a authentic point of view, not just from a point of view, but authenticity, creativity, the source of that, to really create from that, comes from the heart. This doesn't mean that you cannot do a lot of things. This doesn't mean that you, you're going to sit on your ass, you know, all the time. Um, sorry about that. Sit on your ass all the time and just wait and hope and wish that things are going to come to you. Because I see it in a lot of you know communities talking about law of attraction and manifesting that some people believe that, and of course that's that's possible for some people who are at that level. For some people, that's that's true. You can just sit and wait for things to come to you. But for some people, and for, for those who feel the inclination to really to create something physically and to be out there and do things, you have to come from the heart. And I will say it again, you can come from the heart, you can still do a lot of things, you can work your whole day if you feel truly inspired in your heart, but you don't have to do it from this pushing, straining yourself, um, not point of view, but you don't, you don't have to create, you don't have to create whatever kind of life you want from this pushing 
because then even if you get to where you want to be because you can you can get to where you want to be by pushing you really can do that but when you get there when you finally come to that point you've pushed for such a long time that you believe that that's the only thing to do and so you will not be fully satisfied you will not be fully happy and not be fully you know um, happy with yourself and grateful for where you've come because you will still have this belief that everything has to be hard and because life is desire life is always full of desires when you come to one point there will always be something else that you want eventually so the next you're as soon as you know the the high of this achievement um, dissipates you will want something else and then you will be met by this hard and cold and strained um, belief again that you have to push through next thing but if you learn to fall down to you know come into your heart and express from love express from true creativity and truly enjoy what you're doing while you're doing it even though there might be challenges along the way you can enjoy those too then when you come to this point you realize it's not about this point it's not about the destination but it's about getting there it's about the journey so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it please put your thumbs up it will inspire me so much to keep making better videos and to help spread more of this this <laughs> what i'm spreading here whatever that is you know um comment in the comment section below if you have any smart ideas about today's topic if you have any experiences with pushing yourself a lot and then finally realizing I don't have to push myself all the time, I can really enjoy it and I can express myself and I can create through my heart instead of my solar plexus. Um, subscribe if you want to see more just like this. I, I upload videos two to three times a week and uh, it's on the topic of spirituality, well-being and what we can do to create better lives for ourselves and each other. Thank you again. Be well. Namaste.